One of the reasons I'm using the Swordfish Freestyle for Claire today is to correct her very bent and floppy arms. I also wanted her to be more careful about the way she placed her hands in the water to not splash them. Claire is an advanced pre-comp level 3 student, so I'm letting her choose when to breathe, but I do ask that she breathe on alternate sides. I can look way down. If she can see her hand in swordfish position, she knows that she's not deep enough. I'm saying here that if she can see her hands in the swordfish position, she must be looking forward. So I'm illustrating that by asking her to do it wrong on purpose. See, now she knows she's doing it wrong because she can see her hand. So which case then it's super important that she not be able to see her hands until she's actually pulling the water. And I'm explaining here that when you do swordfish freestyle like this, it gives you more time to fit in a solid kick. Another one of my students described it as a background kick. Or you can think of this as a kicking drill with one pull being added to it at a time. It gives her time to focus on the act of moving the water. Before this, it seems she didn't understand the power of her pull. In fact, the drill before this was one where I asked her to swim with closed fists and she told me that it didn't feel any different to her than when she was swimming with open hands. And what did you say when I asked you to swim with this? Did I say, do you feel like you lost your hands, like you missed your hands? And she said, no, I didn't miss my hands. It's because she never really used her hands to move water. So the way I cured her of that um, misunderstanding of how important her hands are is asked her to only think about one arm pull at a time. When she was doing windmill freestyle, she really had a hard time thinking about hands and arms and kick and everything like that. I would say swordfish freestyle or touch her freestyle is kind of a segmented freestyle. Okay, so now I want her to do a kind of a swordfish freestyle where she really stretches on every swordfish. It's a stretchy swordfish. You know the um, the, the character in The Incredibles that could stretch super far? I want you to be that character. Eyes in. Swordfish stretch. Swordfish stretch. Swordfish stretch. Swordfish stretch. So now I want you to do swordfish freestyle until you see the blue line and then after you see the blue line you make it regular freestyle. See that the, the string she's putting into the pole is pretty amazing. So now when Claire switches from the swordfish freestyle to her regular stroke, you'll notice that the flaws show up. She has a very high elbow. I did not teach her to do high elbow freestyle. It's something that she started doing naturally. And nowadays, modern freestyle has an overlap. I want to build her swordfish freestyle. Okay, into uh, an overlap freestyle or almost like right. freestyle. Yeah. 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 So that's my goal. So when we do this at Seal Beach, you can, there's a midline at Seal Beach too. This is the first day that Claire ever did this freestyle drill. We spent about 10 minutes on it. It's obvious that she needs to do more of it to improve her regular stroke. It should help lengthen her arm stroke, increase her distance per stroke, and give her better feel for the water so she can think about one pull at a time. 
while also improving her flutter kick.